Today's video is just gonna be like a little sit with me girl talk video because me personally I love watching this like girl like girly videos girl talk videos they're just like you know they're so interesting to me a lot of girls think of things in different ways different viewpoints you just get like I want to say knowledge because you know what I mean you just get a lot of different viewpoints um, on girl things, you know, I got some things written down in my iPad that I want to cover So Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the first Question the first thing that I want to go ahead and talk about or address is insecurities Everybody has their own insecurities. So, you know what one person's insecure about another person could also be insecure about You know, everybody's always comparing themselves like you look at a girl's hair, a girl's body, a girl's face, you're like, I wish this looked like that on me, I wish this looked like, like that on me, but you know, that girl's probably thinking the same thing, like, you know, she's probably thinking like, oh, look at that girl, I wish, so like, everybody's like, everybody sees everybody in different lights, like, the way you see yourself, that you're insecure about something, somebody else might be like, oh my god, I wish I had that, that's why, you should just be grateful like embrace the way that god made you to look you know because it's only one of you like nobody's gonna look exactly like you unless like you're like a twin but even then you still have your own you still have your own differences that make you 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 know and like not to say that you're never gonna have no insecurities because you know everybody has some insecurities that they may just not address that they're you know a little insecure about but me personally um things that i'm still working on are definitely like my skin issues right now my skin looks pretty good but you know sometimes i do break out a little bit and i get really insecure about that like really bad i get really bad down on myself but all i have to tell myself like regularly is like you know i take really good care of my skin so like it's just going to cause more stress, more inflammation, more breakouts when I stress about how my skin is looking. But mainly it happens like on my period. So if you guys have any suggestions about like hormonal acne, period breakouts, please let your girl know because I need it. But that's what I was going to say. Um, what else I was going to say about insecurities is when you wake up in the morning, girl, Go in the bathroom when you're about to wash your face, brush your teeth, do your hair, whatever. Look in that mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. Like, if you tell yourself you're beautiful every day and you say affirmations to yourself in the mirror, you're going to feel that. Like, lately, I've been trying to incorporate affirmations in my morning routine. Like, whenever I'm about to, because first thing I do when I wake up is wash my face and brush my teeth. So right when I go in there, when I'm about to wash my face, I look in the mirror. Girl, you're beautiful. You're smart, you're beautiful, you're worthy, you're kind, you're gentle, you're funny, you're beautiful. You know, just tell yourself. Tell yourself you're beautiful. Tell yourself you're worthy. Tell yourself you're patient. Tell yourself anything that you're trying to work on. Like, girl, your skin is beautiful. Don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. You know, you just got to tell yourself. Talk to yourself. I know it sounds silly, but it really helps. It really helps. I promise you it really helps. So that's my advice for insecurities. Really just work on yourself. Learn to love yourself. Nobody's gonna love give the love that you could give. Nobody's gonna love yourself the way you could give your own love to yourself, if that makes sense. Nobody's gonna be able to love yourself the way you can love yourself. Cause you're you. Like, you know? But yeah. Um, this kind of ties into insecurities. Um, self-care, self-love, mental health, all that type of stuff is really big right now, which I personally love because I love having a nice self-care day, girl. Going to Starbucks, going to Target. That's just like, I don't know why that's the perfect self-care day, but no. For real, I need a self-care day because I have not got my nails done in so long. This is not like me. I always have my nails done. I haven't got my nails done in like two months. I definitely miss my nail tech doing my nails because she does. She slays on my nails every time. Yeah. 
instrumental music is so peaceful to me. I don't know why, but let's get back on topic. Self-care. Self-care is so big. Because like I said before, who else can care for you and love you the way that you can? Like, you can do everything for yourself 10 times better than probably anybody else could. Like, of course, you're going to want, like, your significant other, your family, your friends to make you feel happy and loved. But, girl, nobody can do that better than yourself. So, my advice or opinion on self-care is definitely take days to yourself. Take days off. Don't always just be running here, running there, stressing about this, stressing about this, because that's going to break you down slowly. Even if you don't let it get to you, girl, that's going to get to you. So my advice, really, I want to start going to get massages because I feel like just getting like a nice massage day or a spa day, nails, hair, wax, everything in one day, that would make me feel like a whole new woman. So I need to do that desperately, but really self-care is anything or self-love is anything that just makes you feel happy or at peace. I know me personally, once it starts getting warmer out, I love just being outside in like nature, whatever, and doing like art, like painting. While well, it's really nice outside, like going to a park and just painting, it's really therapeutic to me. Um, just like doing things to heal your inner child or heal just like little parts of yourself that you never knew needed healing um get out and do things that you've never done i'm still working on that because i definitely need to get out more and do some stuff that i've never done and experience new things it's a new year you don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over but yeah just take some days to yourself even if it's just one day out of the week take that day to yourself to just love yourself care for yourself it could be simple as giving yourself a nice relaxing bath like literally anything can be self-care self-love you know mental health is very big right now which i personally love because mental health is really close and dear to my heart um i've seen people struggle with mental health i myself have struggled with mental health you know it's really hard to still talk about those things i feel like like openly talk about needing help you know some people don't even need help or considerably want help i guess but getting help definitely does help <laughs> i know that sounds like cliche but like me personally i don't really have that many people i can go to talk about my mental health because me i don't like to weigh that on anybody like i don't want to put that on my boyfriend or my grandparents or my mom or my siblings I really wouldn't want to put that stress of them knowing that I'm not alright right now on them. You know, I like to try to figure it out myself. Um, incorporate those self-care days when your mental health is not doing good because you're going to feel 10 times better by the end of the day, I promise you. But yeah, just really focus on you. Love yourself unconditionally. Love yourself how you love other people. Because me personally, I know I give, my, like, give other people like 100%. Yeah, sometimes I don't give myself 100%. Sometimes I only give myself 60%. And I need to raise the bar because, like I said, only you can give yourself the love. Like, 100% love, you know? I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I'm still getting comfortable talking to the camera. I think that's my thing. But let's go ahead and jump into relationships. It can be, you know, friendships, um, healthy relationships, toxic relationships. Me personally, I've been through, you know, at least one toxic relationship. Um, they're not fun. They're really not fun. No matter how much you love that person, they're not going to change, girl. They're not going to change. No matter how much you love them, no matter how much they tell you they're going to change, they're not going to change. If they don't want to put in the work and effort to build and change their ways or change their character, they're never going to change. You want somebody that you can count on, you know? Like, my boyfriend personally, we really never argue. And I love that. Like, I know it is healthy to argue, definitely. It is healthy to have arguments, disagreements, and get over them and come back together. But I just love how me and him can, like, like, if we are in a disagreement or something, I love how at the end of the day, we can just come back together. 
that's what I've always been looking for. And he loves me unconditionally. It's what I love him unconditionally. And I feel like once you find that in somebody, like you look back and you're like, why did I ever let myself get treated like that? Because this is the best relationship I have ever been in. And I hope that I have this relationship forever, y'all. And I feel like once you feel like that about somebody, like, I feel like me personally, you just know. Like, you know when you want something forever with somebody. Or, like, you know if you don't want something forever with somebody. Like, if you're in a relationship and you're like, yeah, this is probably not going to go nowhere. Just leave. It's not going to do you no good to keep staying in the relationship that you know is literally going nowhere. But, you know, it is hard to leave. It is hard to leave. I understand that. But if nothing's changing, nothing's growing, if you guys aren't experiencing new things together growing together growing individually there's really no point in being in that relationship in a relationship you're meant to help each other grow build with each other uh, show each other unconditional love sorry i keep getting hair in my face show each other unconditional love um i feel like that's all like i give him but you know some people really never happen in a healthy relationship and I just pray for all those girls that are really struggling to get out of an unhealthy relationship, toxic, abusive relationship. If you guys ever need anybody to talk to, you can definitely come and talk to me. Um, I will listen. I will help you. I will try to help you the best way I can because I feel for you. And I really hope that you can build up the strength and confidence in yourself to be able to walk away from that. Um, I was going to go over hygiene, but I'm actually going to do a 2023 hygiene routine for y'all because I need to stack up my hygiene so bad. I am so low on everything. Like, I have no more of my original moisturizer, which is probably why I am experiencing some breakouts right now. But um, I barely have any body wash. Girl, I need to get stuff in my period when it comes on. I need to get more mouthwash. I need to get new toothbrushes because I like to restock my toothbrushes like once a month. But yeah, that will all be in the next video. So I'll probably bring y'all along with me whenever I go. I usually go to Target for all that stuff. Bring y'all with to restock and then give y'all my little new routine, I guess. Hold on, I need to change the music. It's kind of annoying, you know? I love Summer Walker. Summer Walker is my girl. I want to go to one of her concerts so bad that it's on my wish list. Um, let's go ahead and talk about female problems down there. BB, UTIs, yeast infections. All very normal. All very common. You're going to get one once in your life i'm sure um i don't know why it's so like frowned upon or like disgusting to talk about because it's literally a normal thing like i said it happens to everybody you're gonna get a bb a bb you're gonna get bb you're gonna get a uti you're gonna get a yeast infection probably one of the three you're gonna get one time in your lifetime and it's not something to be embarrassed about girl go to the doctor get it checked get the antibiotics whatever you need to do i know works positive Ugh. Boric acid suppositories help some girls. I did it before once, but I feel like it just kind of like masks the smell when you're getting, going through an infection. It doesn't really help the infection. But yeah, I've never really found anything that works better than the antibiotics that the doctor gives you, which I really wish I could find, you know, just like a natural remedy because I really hate going to the doctors and getting prescribed medicine. But if that's what works best, do it, girl, because you do not want any infections down there. The longer you leave it down there and are embarrassed about going to the doctor, you're going to get worse. It's going to not be good for you. So I would definitely suggest getting checked if you feel, smell, anything like something's off. Because let's be real, you're going to know when something doesn't smell right. You're going to know when something doesn't feel right. You're just gonna know because you should know yourself you should know your ph you should know you should just know when something's off i feel like down there and if you don't that's perfectly okay too i know some people aren't really taught about that type of stuff but um if you're experiencing maybe like uh older that you're not used to maybe some different color discharge 
or like a different type of I think I already said smell but like maybe you're experiencing some itchiness or going to the bathroom kind of hurts I would definitely try to get to the doctor to get checked um, it's nothing scary um, I know sometimes they just have you like pee in a little cup um, they might do a little swab but yeah that's really nothing to be embarrassed about like I know the first time that I ever got a UTI I was really embarrassed to go to the doctor but it's normal like it's gonna happen let's be honest just stay clean um, get checked regularly those are my advice on that um, I know a lot of people do like getting high school advice um, I graduated a few years ago now my high school advice for like an incoming freshman or even if you're a junior sophomore or whatever um, really just stay on top of your work I know that's like easier said than done but really just stay on top of your work because once you fall behind in one grade, your GPA is going to be hard to get back up, which I personally ruined my GPA definitely in freshman or sophomore year because I just thought I was too cool to do schoolwork, which should never be the case. So get all your schoolwork, do your homework, study for your tests, read your books, do whatever you need to do to get A's, B's. I mean, it's okay if you get some C's, maybe a D. But try to get those up because those really do affect your GPA, even though GPA isn't really like super looked at unless you're going to like a really good college or whatever. Um, I personally was able to still get into like community colleges. But yeah, my advice would just be really stay on top of your schoolwork. Do not worry about boys. Do not worry about girls. Do not worry about that stuff while you're in high school because it's not going to last while you're in high school, I promise you. I mean, there's like one in a hundred people that maybe still are with their sweet high school sweetheart, but don't worry about all that stuff. Don't worry about partying. Don't worry about drinking, smoking, sex, any of that. It's all going to be drugs, whatever. Just try to stay away from it, but ugh, I cannot talk. Try to stay away from it as much as you can, girl, because you don't need that. You don't need that. You're going there to try to get your education. I know a lot of the stuff they teach in school isn't needed in the real life, but just do it, girl. Just get through it. It's only four years unless you're going to college, then I give you praise because school is not for me. <laughs> but um, I see a lot of stuff on social media about getting waxed versus shaving. Me personally, I do love getting a good wax because it stays fresh and clean no stubble for a few weeks girl and i know after you shave a few days after you're already getting prickly hair stubble whatever and that's so annoying to me shaving also gives you a lot more irritation razor bumps all of that type of stuff um i know recently i have been shaving instead of waxing um just because i really have been balling on a budget girl but yeah if you are able to find a good waxer um, I know there's a few good ones in my area. I always go to one girl, but I definitely want to start getting back waxed because I haven't gone get it. Uh, I haven't gotten a wax in like two to three months, I believe, and I miss it. I miss it so much. The only issue that I kind of struggled with getting waxed is I would get ingrowns a lot, even like using products that she recommended. But I don't know. I just like it because. You're just so much smoother down there and there are things to fix in groans um i can give you some of my suggestions that my waxer personally gave me um one thing is fur oil i can insert pictures as well but one thing is fur oil and that is an ingrown treatment oil that you can put on um it works pretty good i really like it they also have like other stuff by the fur brand which i haven't tried i've only ever tried their fur oil you can get it at Ulta. I think it's like $34, so it is a little bit pricey, but I do love it. Um, what else did she give me? Um, what is it called? It's by First Day Beauty. It's like a... In, no, it's not Ingram. It's a bump eraser. I think it's like P something. PH Beauty Bump Eraser. I don't know i'll insert a picture right here but that stuff works wonders i need to get some more of that that's also like around 34 dollars and you can get it at ulta as well um calendula cream is really good for irritation um redness any of that inflammation 
that is also really good um hydrocortisone neosporin both are really good options as well for healing i've had a snapple in so long it's so good yeah but i personally do prefer waxing i haven't gotten one in a minute but it is just so more so much more effective lasts so much longer you only have to get one like once a month i personally love it and would suggest it um but yeah what else oh yeah i wanted to talk about social media social media is so 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 toxic like it's literally the most toxic place and we all run to it when we're bored go scroll on tiktok facebook instagram twitter whatever we need to like tween ourselves tween tween i don't know what that word is that i'm trying to say but we all need to get off of it go be outside go be with your loved ones like i try to tell myself that all the time just put the screens down we're literally surrounded by it like look at this i'm on a screen right here on a screen right here on the screen right there has so much technology but social media by itself so toxic i got rid of a lot of my social medias i don't use snapchat anymore i haven't used it for like a year and a half two years because snapchat is so pointless in my opinion it's so childish like who's gonna sit there snapping pictures back and forth all day not me but yeah me personally don't have snapchat anymore which i 100 percent love i love not just going on there checking people's stories that shit is so like you can even if you don't want to admit it you can start comparing yourself to other people like oh they're doing all this stuff well i'm just doing this they're at here in life you're here in life like you just start comparing yourself and it's really unhealthy toxic manipulative place um, I do have an Instagram, but I literally never use it. I can insert it right here if you want to go ahead and follow me. I do post on my stories when I'm about to post the YouTube video. So you can go ahead and follow me there for updates on the YouTube. But unfortunately, I do not post on there really or ever am on there unless I'm posting that I'm posting a YouTube video. Um, I would say the most thing that I'm on is definitely TikTok. I i'm definitely a tiktok girly i'll go ahead and insert my tiktok as well you guys can follow me i'm trying to be more consistent on tiktok because really i'm only trying to be consistent on there to help gain viewers and subscribers to my channel because i feel like that's the most easiest way to just get like a viral video or blow up really because it takes one little 15 second clip and thousand people can like it and you can get like hundreds of new people to come to your channel that's really what i'm trying to do is just be more consistent on there for that reason um i do use facebook really just for a good laugh at least in my area a lot of people just post funny things on there my facebook is just sam kate if you want to go ahead and follow me on there i am pretty active on there as well but hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know i love these type of videos where i just sit down and talk to y'all if y'all also like these let me know in the comments give this video a like and make sure you subscribe girl make sure you subscribe for more content i'm just getting used to this camera and everything but i'm getting way more comfortable with it and i hope for really fun content for y'all coming up soon and i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you for watching all the way to the end i love y'all and See you next time.